Hi everyone, it's Miss Kelty for my Friday update. I'm sorry I missed it last week, but here we are back at it. This week was um, tough two days with no school, but those were two days where we had conferences here at ECDC. So great seeing everybody coming in and out and perusing through the clothing swap. We will be putting the clothes outside. We had a bunch of awesome things donated. Um, we'll be putting them outside in bins next week and leaving them out at arrival and dismissal so that you can kind of go through if you weren't able to get here during conferences um, and grab some things. Because remember, this is a swap in the sense that people could bring things and people could take things. But if you didn't give, it's still okay. We'd rather get them into the hands of um, anyone who can use them. Some really cute things. There are, we focused on that, um, you know, that toddler to preschooler age. Um, there are some diapers here that someone had donated. There are some shoes. So please come check it out. Um, again, next week, they'll be out in bins, weather permitting, um, in front of the building. And then at the end of next week, anything that doesn't go, we'll donate after that. December 1st, tuition payments are due. If you haven't done that, please send those in to Miss Laura. That's very exciting. Also, um, the applications are out for next year. So if your student is coming back to ECDC next year, you do have to complete an application. You do not have to submit a registration fee. Um, new students, do have to submit a registration fee. So there's two different applications. If you're a returning student, that came home in your child's backpack. So just check for it. Laura did a personal application to everyone. Um, if you have siblings that you'd like to apply, that's a new student um, application and those are available. They're linked, both are linked in the bottom of the email this came in. Um, they're also, Laura has them at the front office if you need them. Um, for those of you who aren't coming back to ECDC because your children are going on to kindergarten, we're going to start that transition process for you as we get into January. We'll talk more about that. Um, children on IEPs will start to have transition planning meetings with your IEP team and your classroom teacher. Um, conversations, some of our kiddos will go into maybe a specialized program. Those teams will work with families all of that is going to be happening as we move into January and February. Students who are not on IEPs who are transitioning will also have great opportunities to connect. Last year, the um, principals did a few things in the spring and then they did a screening opportunity for students to come visit and you know meet some teachers, do a little peek at them. So we'll get some more information as that starts moving along. But um, the other piece about kindergarten is we handle all the transition paperwork. So in January or February, I'm not quite sure yet, Miss Laura will send you um, information about what the kindergarten team needs. Nurse Suzanne will go through all the medical and we'll make sure you have all the documents needed. You'll give those to us in this office and then we will put the packets together and transfer them to your child's kindergarten school. So these are just, we're getting the process rolling. If you're starting to get nervous or worried about kindergarten, you can reach out. Um, we're more than willing to talk you through that process. Um, and again, we're here for you. Your kids are doing great. And when they move on, they will be ready to go. That's one thing we do really well here. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday.